Hey guys. What's up? Um, it's Emily and Michael here hey. in Athens, Georgia, coming to you from our office. Our living room's right there. It's a little easier to set up our stuff in here, so it's still hashtag living room worship. But um, we probably, like many of you, are feeling a little bit on edge with everything that's going on right now and um, confused about what is to come and, and what's ahead for all of us. But we know, and I think that all of us know this on some level, that God is good and He's trustworthy and there's not a single thing that is surprising Him in all of this. And so I think part of the way that we refocus our minds to that is by worship and prayer. Mm -hmm. So we have two songs that we want to sing with you. And we also have a prayer that we want to read to you from this book, Every Moment Holy. I love this book. Um, so we just believe that there is a lot of hope in all of this. And that even though we're scared that this is a time that... Um, the good in all of us has an opportunity to come out and um, something incredible could be started through um, what could have been fear, but we can choose strength in the Lord and trust in the Lord. Um, really, at the end of the day, um, we think we have control over all these things and it's not until something stops our world from running the way that it's been running that we really realize that we don't have control and so this is just a good opportunity for us to um, surrender again our um, our trust to the Lord our life to the Lord our hope to the Lord um, yeah so this is a song that has been special to Michael and me that we kind of sing throughout our house it's and throughout our life it's about um proclaiming and remembering always that even in these times that are are a struggle or that are scary that God is near to us and um by our side and capable of carrying us through these times so we're gonna sing this one
call my name I will be fine I will be fine by my side Even when the night seems to hide your face Even when the fire tries to steal my strength Even when trouble seems to call my name I will be fine Jesus, you are. Jesus, you are. It's time for letting go. I'm not in control. Jesus, you are. Jesus, you are. So we're going to pray this over this circumstance right now. There's nothing that we can do um, to control this, but we know that he's in control. So we're going to ask you guys to sing with us right now in your living rooms or wherever you are. It's time for letting go. I'm not in control. Jesus, you are. It's time for letting go. I'm not in control. Jesus, you are. Jesus, you are. It's time for letting go. I'm not in control. Jesus, you are. Jesus, you are sing a song. It's time for letting go. I'm not in control. Jesus, you are. Jesus, you are. Oh, we trust you. It's time for letting go. I'm not in control. Jesus, you are. Jesus, you are. Lift your voice. It's time for. so wired and interconnected our anxious hearts are pummeled by an endless barrage of troubling news we're daily aware of more grief O oh lord than we can rightly consider of more suffering and scandal than we can respond to of more hostility hatred horror and justice than we can engage with compassion but you O oh jesus are not disquieted by such news of cruelty and terror and war you are neither anxious nor overwhelmed. You carried the full weight of the suffering of a broken world when you hung upon the cross, and you carry it still. When the cacophony of universal distress unsettles us, remind us that we are but small and finite creatures, never designed to carry the vast abstractions of great burdens, for our arms are too short and our strength is too small justice and mercy healing and redemption are your great labors and yes it is your good pleasure to accomplish such, such works through your people but you've never asked any one of us to undertake more than your grace will enable us to fulfill guard us then from shutting down our empathy or walling off our hearts because of the glut of unactionable misery that floods our awareness you have many children in many places around this globe, 
move each of our hearts to compassionately respond to those needs that intersect our actual lives, that in all places your body might be actively addressing the pain and brokenness of this world, each of us liberated and empowered by your spirit to fulfill the small part of your redemptive work assigned to us. Give us the discernment in the face of troubling news reports. Give us discernment to know when to pray, when to speak out, when to act, when to simplify, shut off our screens and our devices, and to sit quietly in your presence, casting the burdens of this world upon the shoulders of the one who alone is able to bear them. Amen.
you're grateful, that you're in control, that you're all powerful, that um, many things like this have happened before, even though they may not have happened in our lifetime. And um, we trust that you were good then and you are good now mm -hmm. and that there is a way that you're making something new in each of us. Um, let us trust you and look to you only. Um, it's important to be up to date on, on the news and what's going on, but let us take your word and your truth and your strength as our guiding light right now. We need you desperately and we need each other, so help us all to continue to be kind and consider the needs of those around us. We love you and we are grateful um, that we even have another day right now. Let us see it as the good that is available in it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We love you guys. Thank love you for worshiping with us and for praying with us. And um, we hope that you're staying safe and not going crazy in this um, social distancing time. But you can always reach out to us on social media and say hello. And um, we'll be around for more stuff like this. So um, y'all take care and we love you. Bye. See ya.